The planning and preparation for the network television pool coverage of the 2009 inauguration began four years ago, just a few days after the previous right, inauguration. Shortly after the last inauguration, the networks led by NBC along with the Senate Radio and Television Gallery started a project to pre-cable the U.S. Capitol completely inside. During the project, the new part of the building, the Capitol Visitor Center, was wired completely in fiber optic cables and most of the old locations in the building was wired with copper technology. But at this point, it does not require any cable runs into the building or out of the building to do any of these large pool events. Besides the technical advantages that all this cabling does, it also preserves the beauty of the U.S. Capitol, which was one of the main goals of the Senate Radio and Television Gallery. But with 35 cameras and as many as 70 microphones, there's still a lot of cabling to be done. So a crew of 12 engineers will arrive seven days before the event to disperse the estimated four miles of video, audio, and digital data cable that is still needed. As you can imagine, a production of this magnitude requires a state-of-the-art production truck. Game Creek Video's Yankee Clipper will provide everything necessary for this historical high-definition television event. First, though, we've got to find a place to park this thing. Yo, anybody got any quarters? I gotta pull this through there. You wanted to be in television. Under the boardwalk. Out of the sun. Under the boardwalk. We'll be having some fun. Under the boardwalk. People walking above. Under the boardwalk. This has to go where? Up on the roof. Up on the roof. What goes up must come down. Yes, this is the senator's bathroom. The long and winding road that leads to your door. Oh, the long and winding road of cable ends here. <laughs> Once the cables are in place, the cameras are assembled in various locations to cover the president's movement throughout the Capitol. Director John Labretto explains. The 35 cameras are distributed throughout the Capitol, mostly on the east front and the west front. We have 10 cameras on the west front. We have a combination of hard cameras with uh, very big lenses. They're, uh, they're basically field cameras that are used often for sports, 86 to 1 lenses, so that we can uh, get extreme close-ups from a, a great distance away. We have uh, three jib cameras so that we can get those great sweeping views of the Capitol, both east front, west front, down the mall, dramatic views across big crowds of people that we expect. In other places, we have handheld cameras because we need the portability. And last but not least, we have robotic cameras so that uh, and they're in positions where we can't easily put manned peop uh, cameras. So we have these robotic cameras that will follow the movements uh, to and from various uh, rooms within the Capitol, and uh, also one robotic camera on the roof of the Capitol getting a beautiful sweeping shot down the mall. It's my responsibility to make sure all the cameras get in place with the right lenses and the right cables. Then I make sure the monitor wall is set up correctly for the director, make sure the switcher is set up correctly, and then during the program I will be punching the buttons as the director calls them. I've got about 75 microphones spread out around the Capitol, east side, west side, um, in the building itself. Uh, I have got about 20 cameras that have microphones on them. Um, it's a, about a three-day build. It's, it's taken us three to four days just to get, it, get everything plugged in and checked out. Excited about doing our part to document this history. It's, uh, it's really been a lot of fun and we're looking forward to getting on with it at this point. I'm in charge of pool distribution, which means all the major networks get a feed through me. Coming over here out of our small and minor patch bays, goes up through what everybody's putting out and putting together. I'm making sure that it gets to everybody else nice and clean. And this is it, part of it. Lots of wires. I am the project manager for the uh, NBC uh, inauguration pool up here on Capitol Hill and I basically make sure from uh, the Game Creek point of view that we have all of the equipment that uh, the NBC pool needs to pull off this production. 
and uh, take care of our guys and make sure we pack it all up and get it all down to Tampa for the uh, Super Bowl next week. The equipment's all in place, the crew is ready. Let's see how it all comes together. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the inauguration of the 44th President of the United States of America. Take four. Ready for eight. Take eight. Barack Hussein Obama do solemnly swear that I will execute the office of President to the United States faithfully. That I will execute the off faithfully the, pres the office of President of the, the United States. The office of President of the United States faithfully. And will to the best of my ability. And will to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help you God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. Ready one. Take one. Ready two. Take two. Cannon, ready three. Take three. Ready six. Cannon, cannon. Cannon, ready. We're 22. Take 22. <laughs> For the Capitol Pool crew, I'm Technical Director Dave Weekly. Ready eight, dissolve eight. 